What's up, fellas? It's a Gemini. I just finished my stream. This is day four, closed beta. Um, I didn't get to play too, too much today because I had a lot of work-related stuff that I had to take care of, but uh, we managed to hit level 78. Um, and I changed up my build just a little bit, you know, min-max where I can. Uh, this is the tree now. I ended up specking out a Firewalker because I was rushing to Breath of Flames. I needed the extra chance to ignite. Uh, I was going to go get Holy Fire, but I opted not to because I was just so close. And this is a really, really efficient uh, highway for fire trapping. Um, again, I'm trying to focus on being able to crit and also burning. The burn damage is very, very important. Um, I don't remember if I talked about this last time, but... I decided to go down this way because I wasn't going to get Eldritch Battery. Um, I changed the power charges. I got Blood Drinker. And for defenses, I'm going to go down to get Acrobatics, into Dodge, into Face Acro. And the rest would be Life. Um, I, I am going to go down again to get this Jewel Socket node so that I can get Fervor, Heartseeker, Crit Chance, Survivalist. Um, this one I can get before I can get these two nodes, but I'm going to use Intuitive Leap here and get all the Herbalism nodes. And that will probably conclude the tree and the build for the most part. I could use another Intuitive Leap here to get Devotion and another Power Charge. It's borderline worth it. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I, these are probably just too many points, maybe at the higher levels, around 90-ish. And this would be more feasible to get both Purity of Flesh and these nodes. But overall, it's going pretty well. Still waiting on that adjustment with Arctic Armor. Um, I did switch around my links. So now we're LE Prolif, increased burn because my chance to ignite is now much better with these. And Cloak of Flame. Cloak of Flame gives me, it's like a miniature Cloak of, or Lightning Coil. It does physical damage taken as fire damage, and that fire damage is checked by my fire resistance. So it gives me some physical mitigation, also gives me 10% chance to ignite, and ignite duration and fire resist. Uh, so really, really cheap uh, four link. We got trap, fire pen, flame surge, conk effect, that has not changed. Uh, if we had another one, maybe we would put crit damage, but we don't have a five link. Uh, so the fire pen, fire trap, increased burn, LA Pro Lift, Tempest Shield is a filler at the moment. Uh, I plan on running Grace, Clarity, and Reduce Mana. Uh, and that's I'm gonna go Evasion with a little bit of Arctic Armor. Then we have a shield. I really want a life shield with spell crit chance. I don't really care about the spell damage. I just want the crit and I need resistances, but I have yet to find one. Uh, you notice that Blood Dance Boots, it gives me Frenzy Charges when I get kills, and it'll give me 1% uh, move or one percent cast speed and attack speed, which is pretty ir irrelevant. It helps me curse a little bit faster, but I don't really curse. And it gives me the 6% movement speed since I have three. It gives me 3% life regen, which is one of the most significant parts. The dex is nice, and the extra damage on targets with low life is nice per Frenzy Charge, which is about 18%. Also, Frenzy has been changed to give you 4% more damage per Frenzy Charge, so I get 12% more damage. So all around, all around, I found these, I found the Rat's Nest. Rat's Nest is not, not ideal, I'm just using it because I have it, and I don't have a better helmet, but uh, if you look... There's Culling Strike, Slower Proj, Lightning Trap, and Lightning Pen. Why Culling Strike? Only because it's really hard to get three off in a rat's nest. So two blue, two green. That's as much, many chromes as I wanted to put in, into it. So if I were to get a, another helmet, you know, I could change up the links with Lightning Trap. But So I've got three, four links, and this will end up changing. Curse on Hand, Herald of Thunder, Assassin's Mark, that hasn't changed. I notice my life pool is kind of low, um, and that's just because my pieces are not that strong. 
We have 66 life and three resistances. This is probably one of my stronger pieces. This along with the dagger that I crafted. It's got spell damage, spell crit, and mana regen that I mastered. Um, this only has 24 life, uh, so it's pretty low on the you know can get you know 20 or 55 more. Uh, this also has 27 life, which is very low. Uh, this is a leather belt. It has about 90 HP, but uh, it can get a lot more. I can get it like 49 more, almost 50 more, easily. Um, and if I want to go Rare Helm, that'll drastically boost my HP and put it where it needs to be. So yeah, I mean, uh, getting acro, running Arctic Armor for a little bit of physical and fire mitigation, but mainly for the slow, you know, for like Devos and things like that. Uh, that'll definitely help it out. Uh, but I'm, you know, rolling through maps. It's pretty easy. I don't, near, I don't have nearly as much AoE. My number one and two priority right now is getting a Divinarius and a Carcass Jack. Getting that 30% increased area of effect drastically going to increase my clear speed. But thought I'd give you guys a heads up. Act 4 is still a blast and um, the new creatures, you know, within old maps are like really, really fun. I can't wait to, you know, play the finished product. I'm very very excited about you know the new bosses that have haven't been implemented and all that jazz so i'll be streaming day five tomorrow around 9 a.m if you guys have any questions and want to see some more gameplay with this build feel free to tune in and ask away come so come say hello and i would also like to mention that we we hit 5,000 subscribers on youtube that has definitely been a feat and you guys have made that possible. Thank you guys for liking and subscribing and your continued support through Twitch, YouTube, and all that media. I'll see you guys later. Have a good one, Exiles. Until next time.